Hello everyone, welcome to Roshchem summary videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve a structure using NMR, IR spectroscopy and mass spectrometry. Okay, we will look at this question. An unknown organic compound was found to contain 59.96% carbon, 13.42% hydrogen and 26.62% oxygen by mass. The mass spectrum of this compound showed the molecular ion peak at 60. Okay, question, question number one, what is the empirical formula of the compound? Okay, so how do we find the empirical formula? So first you record the masses or the percentages. So carbon is 59.96, hydrogen is 13.42, oxygen is 26.62. The next step is you divide by the molar mass to find the moles. So you'd carbon, you divide by 12, hydrogen by one and oxygen by 16. So then you get these numbers. So these are the moles. The empirical formula is the simplest whole number ratio between the moles. Therefore to get a simplest whole number ratio, I divide the moles by the smallest value. Smallest value is this one. So I divide everything by 1.66, then I get a ratio of three to eight to one. So therefore my empirical formula is C3H8O. So that's the empirical formula. Then the next question is asking, what is the molecular formula of the compound? Okay, so that's why we have this information here. It says the mass spectrum of this compound showed the molecular ion peak at 60. So what information I can get from this? The molecular ion peak at 60 means the molar mass of the compound is 60. So we know the empirical formula is C3H8O, right? We should find the molecular formula is how many times the empirical formula. So molar mass of my compound O, the molecular formula is 60, and you divide by the molar mass of the empirical formula. So calculate, uh, what is C? This is your empirical formula, C3H8O. So carbon is 12 times 3 plus hydrogen 1 times 8 plus 16. So that will also add up to 60. So six, 60 here is the molar mass of my compound divided by the molar mass of the empirical formula here. So you give it gives you 1, which means the molar mass of the, the empirical and the molecular formulas are the same. So therefore the molecular formula is also C3H8O. So now my unknown compound is what? C3H8O. Okay, now we will go to the next question. Okay, the HNMR spectrum of the compound is shown below. So what we can see in this HNMR spectrum. So we see a singlet here, so that's a septet. You have a, a splitting of seven, right? And that's a doublet. So how many different hydrogen environments are present in this compound? Because you have three sets of peaks, that one, that one, and that one. So you have three hydrogen environments. Okay, we'll move to the next question. Okay, so this unknown compound was found to react with ethanoic acid to produce a sweet smelling liquid when heated with few drops of sulfuric acid. What functional group is present in this unknown compound? Okay, so when you read this uh, reaction here, you can see it's esterification. You have something reacting with ethanoic acid, that's carboxylic acid. It's giving you sweet smelling liquid and the catalyst you can see sulfuric acid. So the sweet smelling liquid here is ester. So we know to produce esters, you need carboxylic acid and alcohol. So ethanoic acid is the carboxylic acid. Therefore your unknown compound has to be an alcohol. So the functional group present in alcohol is what? The hydroxyl functional group, that's the answer. So then next question is use all the information provided to draw the structure of this compound. So now uh, we were given the HNMR, we know the molecular formula of the compound. Now we'll put all this information together to get the structure of this compound. So what information I know, it is an alcohol. I know the formula is C3H8O. And I also know it got three hydrogen environments. And also additionally, I know about the splitting pattern also. Now we'll see how to get the structure of this unknown compound. 
okay so that's the hnmr given so now we had a singlet here a septet which means split, splitting into seven and that's a doublet okay because you only had three hydrogen environments now when it comes to alcohols now the formula was c3 so the formula was c3 h8 o for three carb it's a three carbon alcohol you you only have two isomers one is proper and one all the other one is proper and two all so if you take proper and one all we'll first take proper and one all so we are the oh is at the end of the chain and these are the hydrogens so how many different types of hydrogens are here that's type a these two are different those two ch2 hydrogens are different because one is next to a ch3 group the other ch2 is next to a oh so they are in two different environments and that oh hydrogen is another environment so you have four different hydrogens here therefore there must be four different peaks but your hnmr is only showing three hydrogen environments therefore it's not proper and one all so it should be proper and two all now we will check proper and two all so that's the structure given here so proper and two all these two ch3 hydrogens they are same so this this one and this one they are the same they are attached to the same carbon that's type a and this hydrogen here is type b and the oh hydrogen is type c and also you can see the splitting is consistent with their structure the oh1 oh hydrogen is giving you a singlet right that's the oh hydrogen that's for the oh hydrogen and then if you take the hydrogen type a so just in carbon is that that got only one hydrogen so then the split in 1 plus 1 we use the n plus 1 rule so you got so i'm talking about these three these hydrogens the type a hydrogens adjacent carbon is this one it got one hydrogen so then 1 plus 1 2 that's why i have a doublet right then peak b this one right for this hydrogen so it's on this carbon it got two adjacent carbon so both got six hydrogens in total so therefore it's six plus one seven that's how you got a septet right so this is how you uh, confirm a structure using all the information given Okay, so that's the end of uh, this video. So please do questions, uh, questions and summary notes. You can find on pages 110 to 118 of Roshchem 3 and 4 study guide. And thanks for watching my video. If you need any further information, please visit our website, www.roshchem.com. Thank you. I will see you in another video.